Hey guys, uh, welcome to Fedora 41 Japanese. In other words, I'm going to tell you some of the issues that I've had with Fedora 41 when I went and installed the beta to right now. And it should be a short list because honestly it wasn't that much stuff. First off, when I first installed DaVinci's Resolve would not work at all. Of course, I went to Element, I went on to Matrix and I reported the issue. Uh, it took about a week and a week later it worked. So we're back. Now, that was a major problem because video editors, editing, and content creation is what Fedora Workstation is built for. So I'm glad it got fixed. I was really excited when it got fixed in fact, in fact, but when they fixed it the first time, there were issues with the neural engine and the way that they have to optimize your GPU for AI because there's things called warp that makes it so you can take any normal footage and turn it slow motion. It looks really professional grade, which is nice. Now, another issue was Affinity Photo would not install, would not work, and would not function at all. And that, of course, was definitely a problem. So once again, I let them know that they're wine, there was something wrong with it. And then once again, we went on Matrix to do this. This is important because they have all of this stuff, right? I love stuff, by the way. And you can see they have a workstation and they have KDE. And this is why I complain a lot because it's KDE. And I've also a part of this arch thing for testing GNOME on stable. So when 48 comes out, this is where we get all information. This is what we do our reporting in. This is the Fedora build system. So if something's not up to par, you can come chat in here. And this is for Fedora Devil. In other words, rawhide stuff, talking with developers and all that. Hey, it's really cool. Oh, also, it's not supposed to look like that. What the hell is going on with the application? There we go. That looks cool now. And, and, we're not done yet. Um... There was a few more issues with gaming. Some games would not function at all, why other games did. Now this has to do with the nature of rolling uh, distro bleeding edge type stuff where uh, you're not really, you have to rely on git type packages instead of stabilized non git type packages. And as you just saw doing that to the window, not a smart idea. Be very careful when you're resizing your window on NVIDIA or AMD because currently there's a memory leak in X Wayland. Okay, there, now you know. Ooh, server FPS, nice. Steam account binding and auto login. Regarding upcoming region merge, there's a lot of cool stuff happening. So the games that wouldn't work, one was Dead Island 2. I jumped in, it wouldn't work. If we jump in right now, it does fully function and work. I'm gonna just not pause here. Usually I do a pause and then I jump back when it started up. I don't wanna show you that it actually works. Hopefully it's gonna work. Well, it hasn't crashed yet, so we should be good. Come on, you can do it. Ah, there we go. That's a good sign. And initiate. I was playing earlier, so it shouldn't be a problem. I might have to, okay, it's broken again. So this is the problem with some of the games that the Wine64 preloader unexpectedly quits. So the details are as follows. Uh, if we do this, uh, uh, oh, this is so awkward. I don't know why they made this so badly. Uh, so there's everything that's necessary. Fedora 41, blah, 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 CPO info, reason killed by whatever. Yeah, so that's not good. But again, we're using Pro, Pro, Proton Experimental instead of like actual real Proton GE, which I consider to be awesome and amazing. We don't have it installed, but the fact that Proton, uh, what do you call it? No, 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 is not working. The experimental version is a big problem. So Proton plus, so it's installed. We're going to open this up. The last time I tried this, it also tended to crash when I was installing Proton GE. Are we, is it working? It's working. Good. Good. And ah, perfect. So now I can close both of these out and start steam up again and we can see if it's working. So proton experimental seems to be a problem, but we can easily just go to library, right click this, go to properties, go to compatibility and switch this over to GE instead. And also force cloud sync and hit play. 
Hopefully it works this time. And the one thing I can't wait, by the way, uh, is the new update coming in October. It's going to be absolutely mind-blowingly fun. So here we go, starting up again. And it initializes. Okay. Perfect. I love this layout, by the way, for games and stuff. So if we can get to the main screen uh, where it renders, we should know if we're good or not. Hmm. Okay, checking. Good. It's got to compile some shaders. I'll be right back. All right. So uh, I'm going to hit join game. We're going to hit play. I want to see the performance on this because I don't know. I got a lot of stuff installed for Cache OS settings and also the 6.11.1 Cache OS kernel. So I kind of want to see what this looks like. You got to give me a second to actually enable the game itself. There we go. Oh, oh. It's compiling shaders. Give it a sec. Want to fight? Fight? We'll fight. I don't mind. Come on. Dance with the devil. <sighs> Sit down and burn. There's one more over here. Oh, he's got a nasty, goopy head. Sit down. So as you can see, it performs really good. <laughs> oh. I love this knife. Did I ever tell you how much I love this knife? Now, as I said, this game wasn't working before. You saw that it crashed on Proton Experimental. But it did not crash on Proton GE. Many people ask me, what Proton do I use? Well, <clears throat> this should give you a good clue. The fabric swimming. That's swinging, sorry. That's definitely cool. I'm going to go this way. Slice and dice. Uh, come on, break. Come on. Ooh, energy drink. All right, and uh, with that, before I get too out of hand in playing this game, we're going to exit real quick. And we're going to continue on doing some other things. As you can see, they're always chatting in the Matrix. So if you ever need them, you know, or need to report an issue, you can just jump in and do that. Now, besides that, uh, Guild Wars 2 performance was perfect. God of War Ragnarok ran great. There was no issues with that. And Monster Hunter World, RuneScape, this, that, and the other thing, they all ran perfectly fine. I didn't have any issues with them whatsoever, so that's really, really good, right? <sighs> there wasn't much to complain about, honestly. Uh, out of the box, this thing performed amazingly well, and it just kept performing better and better. 
when we jumped into this, GNOME 47 was in beta in this. Uh, well, it was out of beta, but they were still not on the RC and stuff. Because sometimes they don't even test the release candidate. They just go straight to final in the Fedora way of development. And um, yeah, there, there was an issue with GNOME Shell and Mutter where it would take a couple of minutes or seconds, actually 44 seconds exactly, for applications to start up. So when you jumped in, you pressed an application, it would take 44 seconds for it to open up and all other apps to open up and start working. But that was solved, as you can... Well, I mean, I've been in here for a while, but it was solved. You'll have to take my word on that. Other than that, Fedora 41 seems to be in a good state where it could be shipped out as final. I think they're probably doing a lot of finalized things and getting bugs fixed and pushing some stuff here and there. But it's in a really, really good state. And hopefully it stays that way from now to release because I noticed on release sometimes with patches, uh, you end up getting some regressions because you're trying to do last minute fixes. And the last minute fixes aren't really tested by a lot of people. So it ends up causing a few issues here and there. So that could also end up being a problem. And things like libxcb and all those others, I mean, they don't really affect very much, but they could. If they have a regression, it could be bad for the system. Anyway, I just wanted to do a simple little update on how Fedora 41 is going. I streamed on it last night. You guys seem to not really notice any issues with it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, to share this video. It really helps me out with the evil YouTube algorithm. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later tonight on stream if my body permits me to do so. Bye, everybody.